Hi everyone, I am Imrat Sadnani, VP Product Engineering and I will be talking about 2BI, a business intelligence tool from Datamatics. Datamatics is a digital operations, technologies and experiences company that enables enterprises to go deep in digital to boost their productivity, customer experience and competitive advantage. We have established products in intelligent automation and business intelligence, namely TrueBot, TrueCap Plus and TrueBI. With a robust workforce of 10,000 plus employees, Datamatics has presence across four continents with major delivery centers in the US, India and Philippines. Let's look at some salient features of TrueBI. Self-service, business users can themselves create the dashboard without any support from the IT team. They can drag drop the charts, the components from the toolbar, change the properties and can save the dashboard. Drill down allows the users to navigate from the summary to the details. Uh, slice and dice allows the users to look at the different perspectives of the same data. With the report designer, one can design pixel perfect report with the capabilities of drill down as well. Users can take a snapshot, annotate, add comments, and collaborate with other users within True BI. About functional architecture, True BI is a web based application and connects to 30 plus data sources. The application has been designed for three major personas administrators, they govern access. Our users, they develop the dashboards, viewers, the end users are decision makers. The dashboard reports can be visualized in mobile or desktop browsers. Data for the demo, postal and river flooding data has been used for the dashboards. For slice and dice features, temperature data from weather stations is being used and has been converted into lab cubes. Data in True BI is access to data sources that includes a data connection and a data model. A dashboard may include more than one data sources. A data source includes more than one data model. A new data model can be created either using a query a stored procedure or a drag and drop visual interface of the query builder. Creating a new dashboard is easy. We drag drop a chart or a component onto the canvas and bind it to an existing data source and model. Once connected, we can see the available fields and their data types and can bind them to the component properties to build the visualization. We will now build a line chart to display the built up area under flooding across the years. We will also make it a multi-series chart across the return period. Let's go ahead and build this chart. Let's see the impact of flooding on the built-up area. On this dashboard, we have plotted the percentage of the built up area across the different countries for the return periods of 100 years for coastal and 20 years for river. As we can see, China in 2000 is orange and in 2020 for the same return period is red. We can change the return periods and compare different return periods we can also change the years and compare across different years we can drill down to a country and see the impact for a country we have plotted the coastal flooding and river flooding across 100 years return period observe the change in the washington state when we go from year 2000 to 2020 it changes to orange on this dashboard, we have also plotted the built up area increase across the years, the forest increase across the years and the increase in the housing premiums across the years. So with advanced analytics models, here we have used the key driver analysis 
for new york the top significant driver is built up area for california it is the land for texas it is again land and for the whole of us it is built up area Let's look at the coastal flooding data on the slice and dice dashboard we can bring in the fields from the data set onto the dashboard using the field chooser and we can then look at data with different perspectives we can also connect to olap and perform slice and dice on large amount of data here we are performing a slice and dice on about 450 million records True BI comes with role-based access control. Roles define the access to the different features. These roles can then be assigned to users. Users can be defined to be power users or viewers. As a power users, they may have access to dashboard or reports. We also offer control at the data level. Here we can define. Here we are defining the countries. to which a user may have access in the coastal data true bi enables you tell stories using the charts from the dashboard you can capture snapshots and bring them into the story or you can even capture a live dashboard let us just capture both of these into two slides and create a user story other than creating stories one can also create pixel perfect reports that includes text logos images charts and data from the databases this is how a completed report looks like the report may also contain drill down tables the report can be saved in one of the multiple formats the it can also be emailed we can also use the scheduler to schedule these reports on a periodic basis much like uh, story creation and uh, report uh, export we can also export the dashboards into a pdf file True BI also allows you to set up data alerts. Let's say we are on a dashboard for coastal flooding India, and we want to set an alert on the observation, the cumulative observation value, which is two zero eight nine at this point, and we want to set an alert that if this value crosses two zero nine zero, an alert should be received. The way we set up the alerts is we define a name, we define what is the mechanism of the alert. whether it's an email or a mobile message in the alert setting we configure the actual alert we need to give the dashboard from where the alert needs to be generated the data source and the condition on which the alert has to be generated we the message for the alert can be configured out here and even the recipients we can also set a frequency if the alert needs to be repeated Let's go and see the state of the alert when the data is updated. We will update the data from the backend. 
the data has been updated. Let's see if it is reflecting on the dashboard. It is. Let's see if the mail has been received. As we can see, the alert has been received with the value and the attachment. It can also be seamlessly integrated with third party applications through the SSO. Here are some dashboards built on advanced analytics models.